So this is the Eterna Avant Garde um, Swiss Automatic Watch. It's, um, fully boxed. You're actually in a really nice box. I take the the way this watch is presented is almost like a much higher end watch. I mean, one of the watches I looked at earlier, the, the Longines, this has got equivalent packaging. And I mean, for the price point, this is a really, really nice watch. So it's got the Salita um, SW200 movement, um, 2800, 2800 vibrations per hour, 26 joules, 38 hour reserve. Um, it's got a 42 mil case, 50 millimeters lug to lug, and 20 mil lug width. Um, it's only got 50 meters water resistance, but I guess it's more of a dressy watch than a than a kind of diving watch. So you wouldn't really need need that extra depth. So um, wind up, obviously. Mm. First click for date change. And second click, you can see the hacking seconds and time change. Yeah, it's a really, really nice little watch. It's actually a really nicely finished movement as well. You can see Eterna, obviously, with the heritage of the Eterna Matic. It's all about the little ball bearing. Um, yeah, it's a really nice, nicely finished movement, actually. And it's found Salita movements are actually genuinely finished better than the ETA counterparts in my opinion from an aesthetic point of view um, but yeah this watch the case is just probably one of the nicest I've seen in a long time you've got a mixture of brushed and polished you've got nice little beveled edges the um, bezel is a really nice kind of polished smooth bezel and you've got a nice little Eterna logo on the crown yeah what's not not, not to like the um, straps are really nice quality brown leather strap which goes really nicely with the kind of brown sunburst textured dial yeah it's a really really nice watch so I'll just quickly put it on the watch tuner just to see what it's looking like I'll get good reading on this. It was plus seven seconds when I did it earlier. Well, regardless, even 30 seconds a day is good for a mechanical watch. But I don't believe it. So, yeah, so 